I wonder what she wrote. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Hi, I'm Jamie Lee Curtis. I am the co-creator of the Audible original podcast, Letters from Camp. So today, I'm gonna write a letter to my younger self to share with my delicious co-stars, Sunny Sandler. Smile real big. <laughs> and Jacob Tremblay to see if I can teach them a thing or two about being young. <laughs> Dear younger Jamie. I know you might be feeling scared these days. When I feel this way nowadays, I always try to remember it will pass. So 13 is eighth grade. Eighth grade sucked. <sighs> I think part of the issue about being a famous person's kid. I just wanted to be like everybody else. I'm about to go to a new school, and I'd say that's gonna be pretty intimidating, but you know, all you have to do is like go in with confidence and everything will be fine, hopefully. Something that's difficult for me at this point is kind of balancing, I guess, my career in school. I do feel very stressed sometimes. I think I get stressed really easily. There are moments when I just kind of have to, you know, take a deep breath and plan things through. So I don't know if you guys have ever listened to Archie. Everybody assumed I was like a Veronica because my parents were stars. And I just wanted to be Betty. <laughs> I just wanted to be regular Betty. I know that your body and face might feel like a big deal for you right now. But trust me, it isn't. What is truly important is your individual spirit. Yeah, I'd say that like beauty standards at my age are like a big deal. Oh my goodness, the internet, they take the images that they see as truth, and they're not true at all. I'd take some wisdom from Jamie on that one because not only me, but most teenagers are very focused on. Like body and face, and also just like focusing on other people and comparing yourself. This social media thing is deadly for young people. The reason that we set Letters from Camp in 2005 was very specific. We wanted to do it pre-social media. When it really comes down to it, you just have to focus on making sure that you're treating others well and treating yourself well. If I were to describe my spiritual self, I would say that I'm very, very creative. Problem solving and you know making solutions to, to problems, which is another way of saying problem solving. I uh, yeah, I'm really good at that and just like creative writing. I've just always loved. Growing up with parents who are actors is unique because other people know of you. And here are the important things I learned from that. Number one, you will know who your friends are. Number two, most people are kind. Number three, you have value as you. It's funny because the reason Sunny Sandler is in this show has nothing to do with Adam. She auditioned and I'm telling you, I have goosebumps. I have hairs all up my arm. She, it was like right away, oh yeah, this is Mookie. I am like Mookie. She's definitely funny, which I'd say I'm funny, but some of my friends would disagree. We both have big personalities, but I'm still not quite as bold as Mookie. She is definitely one to talk about her bowel syndromes and all sorts of things that I would definitely be embarrassed to talk about, but <laughs> I think it's good for her. <laughs> when it comes to the career, you will someday have, remember, that it changes. I now am busier as an actor and I'm busier as a producer than I've ever been because I finally, when I turned 60, said, if not now, when, if not me, who? I'm now actively producing things and trying to hustle. I'm a hustler. I kind of hope that in my in my career moving forward that I'll that I'll be able to get into like script writing or directing. I definitely have a big passion in acting, so I want to continue that as well. Something I would tell my adult self. Hmm. Ooh, these are getting deep. <laughs> Don't ever forget about your passions because those forever will be exciting for you. My balance really is, as I get older, is I need a little rest. I no longer go to night events at all. If you want to see me, we'll go to lunch. When you're wrong about something, always ask for help and admit your mistake. I would like to say I'm always right, but I'm not. Um, I have made mistakes. Some advice that I've learned from like a lot of people is to really stay, stay humble. The kind of actors I look up to, like Leonardo DiCaprio or Jamie Lee Curtis, they're always like so humble. That really inspires me to kind of be a better person. Here's the only other big advice one. You can compartmentalize any drama into the five role. Is whatever's going on going to affect me for five seconds, five minutes, five hours, five days, five months, or five years?
if it's going to affect your life for five years. That demands all hands on deck, get every adult you know to circle around this problem, whatever it is. But if it's going to affect your life for five seconds, not that big of a deal. When it comes to money, once you're all grown up, my best advice is to save it. But the most important piece of advice that I want you to remember... Always be true to yourself. No matter what you do, you cannot change another person. So clean up your side and to thine own self be true. Love, love Jane. Jane. Oh, that's so nice. I love this. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out Letters from Camp from Audible. Smash the subscribe button. Come on now. Hit the like button as well. Get all those notifications. All of it. It's, it's awesome. <laughs>